Hi, I'm Matthew Coast, head dating coach and founder at CommitmentConnection.com. And in today's video, we're going to talk about what to do after a breakup. If this is your first time to our channel, make sure that you go and hit the subscribe button to get more videos on how to have the relationship that you've always wanted. So breakups are one of the most miserable things that anybody has to experience in their lives. There's uh, some studies out there that show that um, breaking up with somebody almost feels like uh, you're losing a part of your identity. You're losing a part of who you are. And so um, you can go through these uh, emotional things that, that can really hurt and that can be really frustrating and that can really drive you to the point of insanity if you don't take care of them the right way. So today I'm going to give you six things to do that will make it so that um, it's getting, getting through your breakup will be a lot easier. So the first thing that you need to do is to fully accept the decision that your partner made. And, you know, I know a lot of people kind of come to my stuff wanting to figure out how to get back with an ex. Well, the first thing you need to do no matter what is to accept your partner's decision. Accept that um, he doesn't want a relationship anymore. Accept that, uh, or at least the relationship that he was in before. And just fully kind of embrace and accept that without getting resentful, without getting angry. Um, if you do get angry or resentful, uh, you know, uh, channeling that in a healthy way instead of back at your uh, ex. The second thing that you need to do is distance yourself as much as you possibly can from your ex. And so you'll want to, uh, you know, either block him or get off social media yourself all together so that um, you're not seeing his stuff, you know, uh, put his stuff somewhere. If you have clothes of his, if you've got whatever things that remind you of him, uh, try to put that somewhere. I know uh, some people still work with their exes and that can be a really, really difficult situation, but try to do it as much um, as you possibly can where you're kind of putting uh, you're distancing yourself away from him. You're distancing yourself from uh, anything that's going to trigger emotions that will bring him back up. The third thing that you need to do is to uh, not pretend like everything's fine, but instead uh, take some time to mourn, take some time to heal, take some time uh, for yourself to cry, to you know watch some whatever movies, to eat some... Uh, chocolate to uh, eat some, you know, ice cream or whatever you do to kind of uh, deal with uh, strong emotions like that. It can be really uh, damaging to you if you try to suppress those and hold that in. Um, it's much better to release it, to let go of it, to talk about it, to um, express it in whatever ways that you feel like you need to express it. The fourth thing that you need to do is to uh, maybe give yourself a makeover, maybe give yourself a haircut, maybe uh, go and do something where you're taking care of yourself or you're making some kind of change, possibly getting some new clothes or something that can, um, <clears throat> your physical, changing something in your physical environment, especially with yourself, can kind of uh, uh, almost like um, create a... Uh, like this psychological experience of moving on or moving forward or uh, uh, becoming somebody new or um, getting somewhere and, and uh, being somebody different. And uh, the re like we talked about earlier, the reason that this is important is because a lot of times when you go through a breakup, it feels like you're losing a part of yourself. So reclaiming that by changing things up in your environment or with yourself uh, from a physical standpoint can be really, really powerful. So the fifth thing that you want to do is let your body uh, help you heal from the from the breakup. And so, uh, one of the, um, you know, I know I talked before about like, you know, eating some, some, uh, comfort foods or whatever and doing some things. Um, and at the same time, uh, you know, it, it I think it can be very helpful to do that and, um, you know, kind of get to this place where you're, uh, it's, it's almost like, um, you need to, 
uh, the, the only way out is through, right? And so uh, getting through those emotions, like uh, triggering those emotions um, through through eating, you know, and, and even coming out of that and being like, oh, I feel like crap about myself um, can be a really powerful way to explode out the other side and start doing really healthy things like, you know, exercising more, or, uh, going for jogs or, um, you know, doing things, uh, practicing yoga, doing things where um, you feel like your body's healing, like your body's growing, like your body's coming out of it and becoming stronger and more powerful um, and just allowing your body to do those types of things can actually help you get through the healing process. So the sixth thing that you'll want to do is uh, take some time and bond with, uh, you know, maybe your friends or maybe some animals or maybe with nature. Go in and just uh, create some emotional connections or deepen some emotional connections with with people that you care about, some people that you know, some people that you like. Um, not as a way to like, you know, the, the, uh, doing it in constructive ways, not in destructive ways. Destructive ways would be like going out and trying to get a rebound hookup or something like that. Um, whereas constructive ways would be hanging out with friends, um, you know, spending some time with people that you love, spending some time with animals that, um, (laughs) that you love or, uh, spending some time out in nature. Thanks for watching this video. If you're ready to know exactly what to say and do to attract the man and the relationship you've always wanted, click on the button on the right hand side of this video and go to our website.